And lastly, on Johan Hari's seven disconnections, is hopeful uh, disconnection from a hopeful and secure future. So what that means is, guys, it's basically, um, obviously in today's society, we work really, really hard and really, really long hours to just get by. Um, and I don't really, I don't understand the, the economics of how the world works well enough to be able to tell you how we can change that as um, individuals and as business owners and so forth. But what I will say is I believe that'll all change. So what I believe is I believe that universal basic income is on its way. So people that have listened to this show a lot would have heard it spoken about, you know, by Steve Sammartino, the futurist, and by um, myself and Tommy, and um, I think maybe by, uh, who else have we spoken about it? Don't know. But, um, but we've spoken about it a lot. And universal basic income is basically a, a stipend that um, is kind of um, like social security or the dole here in Australia, you know, benefits, but it just goes out to everyone. And I mean, isn't that pretty ideal? So the thing with UBI, universal basic income, is people worry that um, it'll be taken advantage of and if people have nothing to strive for and they don't have to go to work, they'll just be, you know, they'll just be bums and and they'll be slack with no drive and and no um nothing to really um you know give back to society and you know the thing is robots and artificial intelligence and automation it's going to take over a lot of our jobs so say for example we lose 50 percent of our jobs then there's going to be relatively the same amount of money in the economy and there's going to be less hours worked by human beings so Surely that's a good scenario where we can say, all right, cool, you know, companies and so forth are taxed heavily on automation or just in general and a universal basic income, so enough for a roof over your head and for food on your plate goes to everybody in all countries really and we just work less. So if there's the same amount of money in the economy but less jobs, then instead of having 50% of people that are displaced and 50% of people that are unemployed, 100% of people work and they work for 20 hours a week. (sighs) Mate, (sighs) sign me up. Sign me up any day of the week. So that's my utopian universal basic income um, scenario. And I don't see why it can't happen. I mean, one reason why it might not is because I know absolutely zero about economics um, and I don't know if artificial intelligence will fully happen and, and if our jobs will get taken. Um, look, there's a lot of holes in my theory, but uh, there's also a lot of hope in that theory. I, I truly believe that. You know, we're smart enough to send people to the bloody Mars, nearly, um, but, you know, we're, we're all still working that much. So I think universal basic income will really help. Um, it's been trialed in a province in Canada about 20 years ago and everything to do with the biomarkers of a healthy society went in the right direction. So, you know, divorces went down, rate of perceived happiness went up, um, general wellness went up, mental health care plans went down. Um, yeah, everything is, if you don't have to struggle, if you don't have to stress, if you don't have to work a shit job for, for crap pay for someone you don't like and to, to make ends meet, then you'll be way happier. And it's like... It's like mini communism in a way, you know, it really is. Um, and it's just, it's a way that we, we can keep the society that we're in and, and, and look after people more. Um, and I think it's a real option. And I think it's, it's something that the governments are already preparing for is universal basic income. So um, it's what's being thought about. And we just need to make sure that greed doesn't take over and it doesn't fuck us and, and, um, and the rich don't get richer from all automation and artificial intelligence and so forth. And that we actually, <clears throat> we actually give back to, to the everyman and raise people's quality of life. Because that's what, that's what we have the ability to do in the future, in the near, not too distant future, is we have the ability to do good for large portions of people um, in this artificial intelligence era, um, automation era. So why wouldn't we do it? Why wouldn't we do it?